Ah, hello there. Welcome to Whiskey Lodge. It's uh, time to replace the rear brake discs on this uh, old uh, Kia. They are rusty like I don't know what, so I'll show you. Let's take a look. Well, hello there. Welcome to Whiskey Lodge. I'm here with the Kia Rio and uh, the rear brake discs aren't what they should be. <laughs> Well, they haven't been what they should be. Um, well, it's a cheap, slow-going car being driven by someone that almost never had been using the brakes. Um, and, well, some cars have drums at the rear if they're in this kind of price range, but this one for some reason have discs and they corrode, corrode, corrode. So, yeah, just look at this. Um, the the uh, <laughs> this is the one from the right hand side and on the inside of the right hand side's disc there's almost no kind of pattern or surface at all that uh, has been <laughs> in a good contact with the uh, with the pads now just compare with the new one ah oh, yeah and the new one it's a coated disc as you can see it's a cheap disc like 30 to 40 euro something, yeah, but it's still coated and, well, I'm not expecting the coating to be the very, very best, but I added a bit of black uh, heat proof and heat proven paint, so to speak. Just to, uh, to improve it a little bit, I, I really like to have a coated disc because the, uh, that surface otherwise if it's just an untreated disc then it gets corroded all right away and it looks awful um, so well my recommendation of course when just driving and using a car when it's been raining brake and brake hard uh, if you got an old-fashioned manual park brake then apply it especially when you're about to stop somewhere and park it because then you will heat up the brakes a bit and take off the moisture uh, here, this, uh, the, oh, yeah, and when the pads get stuck in the caliper, so when someone breaks, breaks lightly, there's no brake pressure added at all, so there's no heat at all, and then, uh, you know, so the pads get kind of stuck and they don't move when you brake lightly, and then if you brake hard, they do like that, and then they kind of take a new set and then they start to to wear out and even overheat the pad and but after a while it's been worn off and then yeah so it's kind of going like this uh, but well let's see I'll um, have to replace the left hand disc also and I'll show you how to do it so first jack up the wheel a little bit let's see here I have two little wooden blocks uh, on the pad surface or whatever you should call it okay but first then uh, let's see move this one away twenty one it is the wheel It's moving. Just a second. There we go. And this piece of crap, I will. <laughs> it looked almost good on the outside, but on the inside. No. Rubbish. So. Is that. Nothing being hit, nothing hitting the roof. There we go. Now of course the the whole caliper has to be taken off and I will take it in two pieces sort of. I will put the caliper on top of that little wooden box. Um, as you can see, this disc doesn't look all that bad, and the reason is that the 
pads here were not as stuck as on the other side. Uh, I've already been here playing around a bit with it. So let's see, those are 14. See, there's the, the whole caliper is kind of sliding on these pins, and there's a screw for this. There we go. Not that bad. Yeah, on brakes, things can, can really corrode and get stuck, but this one wasn't too bad. There we go. Second one. Then it should be loose. And I should have had a bigger, a big screwdriver here to do this, but ah, it's not that stuck. Otherwise, you, one has to put in a screwdriver here and there and start to poke a bit, and then it will move, move out. There we go. Now, don't let this thing hang in its in its, <laughs> in its oil braid fluid hose hose. Come on, stay there, please. No. Like that then. Yeah, let's see. Now there are more screws on the back side to take. Wow, oh, yeah, by the way. Here we have the pads and they should be they should move easily now. I do. You see, I've already been here putting slightly, slightly, small, small amount of um, high temperature uh, grease, I think one should call it. Yep. Um, then, let me think. So, this one was on the outside. Okay. The other one. Ah, this thing isn't all that good. Why don't you want to stay there? So then the one on the inside. There we go. It's important not to get grease on the, on the surface of, of the pad nor the disc as such, of course. Yep, look fine. And then 14 also on the inside here. Fine. Not bad at all. That's that one. Okay. Um, now there is a screw here, and if the car is really corroded and really worn, it might be a big problem in taking that screw away. But this car isn't all that bad, I hope and think, and so on. So, um, let me see. It's really important that you have a tool that really fits. So, I don't know. Let me see. Otherwise, you'll be in trouble. Now, it might spin now, but I think I need to apply a bit of handbrake. No, I can't. So, let's see. Otherwise, if it won't come loose now, I have to put the things back again and apply the handbrake before I can get this going or I put something in like... Yeah, like that. But I think it's my lucky day. So, let's see here. There it goes. Now, if it's completely corroded, I think you will have to drill it away. Just as simple as that. But this one came loose. So applying axial force, really pushing really hard. If you suspect that this is very corroded, then, then that might solve the thing. But otherwise, well, we might get into big trouble. Um, I will even put in a put on a bit of oil. Where's the can? Here's the can. And not spray on. So, next problem you might have is that the disc won't come off the hub because there's corrosion there. Now, this is of course the wheel bearing. 
So if you start start to hammer really hard on this, then you might damage the bearing. So I'd say hammer it gently, gently just tap 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 all the way like this and let it spin and tap not with your fingers with something a bit more heavy, uh, but not just boom something like that. Be a bit careful. But this one will come off. I'm quite sure about that. Yes. You see, corrosion there, corrosion here, and then, and this one is, mm, it's not a good disc, it's not the worst, but well, yeah, it's due for sure. <clears throat> now, this wasn't too bad, I'll just clean it a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit, just a second. Now, don't leave too much oil on this thing because then it might be thrown out on the inside of the disc and then move its way out on the surface of the disc and that's not a good thing. I will wipe everything off. Now, if it's really heavily corroded, you might have to grind away a bit. Uh, but this is not too bad. There's even a little booklet coming with the... With the it's not here with the disc uh, telling you more details on this yeah for instance if it's a uncoated disc it's most likely oiled so then you have to use like brake cleaner or some alcohol or uh, paint solvent something to really uh, clean the disc surface otherwise <laughs> you will just Push oil into your pads and then have no no friction. Let's see. It's, it's fine. New disc. And then there we go. Oh, it doesn't have to stay there. So yeah, by the way, this thing it's quite handy. It's quarter inch socket there quarter inch square then to quarter inch hexagonal i have been playing around with a bit of grease here yeah uh, there are small kind of stainless steel blades that should make it easier for the pads to slip but this thing corrodes and then it starts to compress this change the, the dimension there so I've been having these off and been grinding with this I don't know grinding tool and then putting a bit of high temperature grease on the backside of this thing also uh, but that's already been done but I'm afraid that I will get some of that grease onto the disc so I'll do like this so I put a bit of paper there before before I have it touched properly Oh, and paper in between. There we go. Come on. Oh. Let's see here. Have I squeezed this thing or not? No. Come on. There we go. No paper. Right, fine. Then I can tighten this thing. Do it from above. Very important that these are not under tightened. Yes. There we go. Now, next little thing is that this disc is not much, but just a little bit thicker of course because it's not been worn so I will have to push the piston in or kind of rotate and push the piston in a bit yes one will need a special tool I'll just put the pads back in position yeah one could say that, oh but you should put on new pads when you change the disc yeah but these ones are almost new of course I will if it would have been 
uncoated of course and this is partly why I put some extra coating here is that of course the edges are not really touching the disc now initially but it's just a little bit and I think they will get in shape quite soon so I will not bother about that there we go that's that part and then yeah this little tool is really handy to have and one kind of gets yeah it's possible to see this just about let me show you so this thing there's a slot there oops <coughs> there we go you see so it will both rotate and push the piston in a bit not much just a little bit if it would have been a lot i would have opened the bleeder valve but i will not do that now there we go so see uh-huh rubber boot was almost stuck but it let go easily so just a little bit not much This will fit. No. Yes. No. More. I will have to move it a bit more. There we have it. All right. So screws. They do not enter all that easily. Let's see. Ah, it's a bit low. There it enters. Okay, then 14. Now, if this kind of nut, almost you could call it, will rotate, then you will have to put another tool over it. So, tool over it. So, let's see. Will it start to rotate? Will it rotate or will it not? Will it rotate? It stays. It doesn't spin. Same here. Yep. Fine. Now... That looks fine. Did I really tighten that thing? Double check. Ah, I can tighten the parking brake by the way. Fine, good. And now it will not spin. So, tightened. I will put on a little bit of. Oh, be careful. Yeah, no oil on the disc, please. All right, like that, and a little bit on the heads. Nothing on the disc. Right. Now then it's just to put on the wheel and I'm not sure if I should bore you with that. So that's all from Hoist Garage today. It's uh, not too too difficult to do this disc replacement, right? Thanks. Bye bye.